my Aries. Aries in the building. Notice I chose crazy for the Aries because I love you guys, but the amount of energy that comes out of Aries is it's pretty crazy. Yeah. So for our Aries, let's see what's going on. The general energy was just kind of having patience with making decisions that we have a lot of love and compassion for our new ideas coming out, come, um, just in us right now. And so Spirit's asking us to kind of use the Hermit card and take time to really look inward about what we really desire. So Let's see what we got for our Aries for the end of the year. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. All right, Aries. So I'm seeing... There's been a little bit of drama going on with the Aries. There's been something, something's been happening where you feel like you need to avoid some kind of conflict. Um, but that's been, that's been keeping you a little bit at bay. And, and you're not even been able to really make the things you want anymore. Or, or we got the Magician Reverse here um, for a lot of the, for our major card for you guys. Um, so just things are not manifesting like you want them to. And for the, the last bit of that card, we got the Nine of Pentacles. So we're trying to figure out this last bit of the year, how we're going to push forward and, and really plan for what we need to be doing. Um, let's see. For the advice for that, we got Blessing in the Disguise card. So maybe all this drama honestly was okay. It's honestly all right. Everything was happening for the right reason um, for you guys. Hold on one second. This music is loud. I want to change. Okay. What the card says is, what appears to be a problem is actually part of your answer prayer. You understand the reason behind your present situation as everything resolves. Trust in heaven's protection and infinite wisdom to answer your prayer in the best way. So, with the end of the year coming, Aries, I just want you to know that you never really know what spirits got in hold for us. But just know by 2017, it'll be new beginnings and new things coming. And so just let everything kind of settle. Whatever's been going on, let it settle down. We feel like we're a little stuck right now and we can't really move forward. But... We got the Blessing in Disguise card, so everything's all right. For our Challenge card, once again, the same thing. The Chariot is the card of moving forward. You got it reversed for your challenge. So it's it's we're, Spirit is asking us to, or asking the Aries, to push forward. Keep moving forward with, with what you want to do and not get stuck in, in what happened in, in the past. We got the Trustworthy Guidance card for you with that. And so it's asking to just kind of trust in... What you know and trust in what you what's been happening and trust in the in the blessings in disguise on this link. Yeah. And lastly, Aries, for our love, we got the wheel of fortune. Which is really good. Meaning you got every with love, you can get what you want. Yeah. The wheel is turning in your favor. That's kind of always what I hear with the wheel of fortune. Yeah. And the advice from that is to ask. So ask what you want. Ask what you want in love this for the end of the 2016. What do you want to start 2017 with in love, Aries? Hmm? Let me know. Let me know. So, these are your cards. And check back with me. I'll be doing mid-month for December as well. Um, but love you, Aries. Love and night. Okay, guys. It is Taurus time. All right, Taurus. So this is for Taurus energy, basically, for Taurus. If you're Taurus rising, it may resonate with you as well. Taurus moon, too. So make sure you check that out. And also, if you have, um, if you are a Taurus and you have, let's say, an Aquarius moon or, <laughs> I shouted out myself, sorry, a Gemini moon or something else, check in with all of my signs I'm going to be doing, and it might resonate with you as well. Because it just depending on your natal chart, it depends really on what energy you pick up the most in the signs. So, for our Taurus, let's see what we got going on with the end of the year, just specifically um, for you guys, on top of our general message. Hmm. 
All right, Taurus. Okay. We need to make sure, Taurus, by the end of the year, you have got to let go. Let your past go is what I'm getting. Yeah, let your past go. We've got to let it go because 2017 is the one month. We, I mean, one year. We got to start fresh. We don't want to start in the past. Start the new year with past baggage. You know what I'm saying? So the card is asking us. The burden of your carting your past around has made you weary, dear one. It's time to set this burden down. Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind. You don't want it or need it, and it's now gone. Because your cards, the fool reversed, not really wanting to, to push forward and start something, being really naive and just kind of like iffy about situation. The tower card reversed, not wanting change, not wanting new things to happen. Taurus, you're stubborn, y'all. Y'all are stubborn, okay? Much love to you. But stubborn. So you want to make sure you're allowed to change. The change is happening because, notice, it's being struck by lightning. So this is something that is past our doing, but it's because the foundation of this building was kind of crappy. And so we want to set up new foundations. So make sure you let go of the situation. And work with others, Taurus, okay? And then you might be a little mad that things aren't working out right now, but let go and turn our projects into community. Just bring other people into community because it's going to be all right. Right now we're a little... Thinking a little bit about ourselves, yeah. In our career, we're also juggling many different things. We're juggling, you know, many different choices and that kind of thing. Maybe that's why, you know, we're a little stuck and we're not allowing change. Because touring your earth sign, you might want to feel like you need a lined up kind of schedule or, or list of what you want to do and what what what's going to lead to what. But in this, the way the world works, you never know what's going to happen, honestly. So you're juggling different decisions and that kind of thing. But you just want to make sure that you let the past go. Let the past go. And maybe one of those decisions was was correlated with the past. And now you only got one. You know what I mean? So follow your heart and let the past go. We also got the ocean card advice for that. That was a challenge. Let go. And find, and um, the ocean card is just kind of saying, maybe you need to get around some water. Or get into nature. Get around water. Water is so healing and so nurturing. The constant flow is so, um, I don't know. I just always relate with the ocean because it helps me to let things go. And lastly, for Taurus in love, Four of Swords reversed, and Creative Project card. So I'm thinking that this is in love with what's, what you're doing. Yeah, so maybe the whole thing, I, yeah, that's what it is. I'm hearing love what you do. Love what you do, Taurus. You're making decisions and you might not know. You Maybe one is you're thinking about something other than love, yeah? And that's what maybe got you by in the past, but now it's time to let that go, let that mentality go, and move forward thinking more about how your creative projects are going to work out, yeah? The rest is over. Rest is over. It's time to get up and push forward with what you love in the creative projects because this is what you got for your love um, aspect of this general reading for Taurus. So that's what I have for Taurus. Much love and light. Keep updated. Keep following me. I'll be doing mid-months as well for my second video. Um, to keep in touch with you guys and see what's really going on, yeah? Much love. Geminis, what's up, guys? Much love to my Geminis, by the way. My moon is in Gemini, so I understand you guys. Much love. I have so many Gemini friends, and I just love so much for Geminis. Um, Gemini, so let's get our energy reading. Let's see what we got going on for the end of the year for you guys. All right, my gems, let's see. Hmm. Okay, okay. Advice, our first advice is entrepreneur. You're asked to be, to push forward and figure out what you're doing. I think, I feel like with Gemini's, you can do so much. You, 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 you don't only just want to have one job. You want to have three different jobs, seven different jobs. You want to be doing this thing and leader of this and also helping with this, volunteering here. And so you want to make sure you keep up that entrepreneurship, and keep up that drive from the end of the year because that's going to push you so far into the new year. Um, what we also have gotten is just to make sure we keep balance with um, our money and, and just make sure that um, you're generous with, with what you got because there's a lot of judgment coming around that. That's kind of what we got um, in the beginning with you guys. Um, also, make sure 
in the end of the year, you're going to be tempted. You're really going to be tempted with past things, past things that are not good for you. Um, you might be, you know, tempted to go back on overeating, over drinking, indulging in things that um, are not good for you anymore. Little phone call, pause, pause. We'll call them back. Um, but angels are asking you to focus on service. Focus on service and focus on your entrepreneurship and focus on how you can serve your gifts to other people instead of, and that's going to get you kind of out of just being stuck and in our kind of desires at the end of the month, yeah? With love, we're asked to just be, we got the child card, yeah? So with love, they might be love, um, let's see. You also got the Empress Reverse card. And so there might be someone um, in your life that needs a child, maybe, or someone that, or maybe you, that needs to listen to your inner child and bring that back into love. Or a child needs your love, that kind of thing. So that's kind of what we got for um, your love situation. So for my Geminis, you need to just focus kind of on your career, really. Really what you, what you want to push forward and what you want to be doing in the future starting in 2017. Much love, Geminis. I hope that helped. I'm going to be posting mid-month for December as well. So catch up with that. Um, and hit me up on social media. Much love to my Geminis. Love you. All right, see. My Cancers. Let's see what we got, Cancers. Yeah, this is for Cancer Rising as well. Um, cancer Moon. You have a lot of Cancer, a lot of planets in Cancer. Um, in your birth chart, this is for you. So let's see what we got for our Cancers. Ooh, Cancer. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. So, Cancer, there may have been some disputes or something going on or some kind of drama or something in the past, yeah, or it might be happening now. And it's causing you to kind of just be a little bit stuck in decision-making and just making sure you know what you're doing. You're kind of like, okay, let me figure out what's what I'm doing with the flame. But that's going to lead to good things, yeah. That's going to lead to you um, taking control of your life, really, and really just getting everything figured out. Um, you also got the Cupid card, yeah. So maybe new love will come from that. Maybe this conflict and everything... Um, we never really know what everything is and, and how, why things happen. Yeah, something bad could be from something so good. And also, bad and good are not even real anyway. So, with this Cupid card, it says, We send great waves of love into your heart and mind, awakening your love for life itself. Your clear decision to accept and enjoy romance has triggered this reawakening. Allow yourself to spontaneously celebrate love in all of its glorious efforts. Beauty fall camp cancers. But we need to make sure that we are focusing on our relationships. We got this with our relationships, yeah? So maybe this fighting, this quarrel, these quarrels have been happening in our relationships, yeah? We're not really, really following. Um, we're not being our super feminine selves. We're not having caring energy um, and love in our relationships, yeah? So it's asking us to follow our judgment and, and really listen to what our heart is telling us to do in these situations, yeah? It's saying, quiet your mind, beloved one, and listen to our gentle reassurance that everything has been taken care of. Stay in a quiet and receptive state without worrying about the exact nature of your desire's manifestation. A quiet mind and body hears us quickly and clearly. This is our request to you. Listen. So, Cancers, I feel like there was something going on, but everything's going to be all right. The, the angels are asking you to listen and just kind of... Follow your guidance and, and your judgment, and, and remember to, to, to keep the Cupid card. Bring new love into your life, and just bring bring love into everything you do, because that'll reduce all the quarrels. Yeah, that'll keep you positive, keep everybody happy, yeah? So that is what I have for my Cancers. Much love to you. And I also will be doing mid-months as well for um, December, so catch back with me with that. All right, guys. So, my Leos, 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 Leos. This is for Leo energy in general. So, if you have Leo rising, Leo moon, this may also really resonate with you. So, for our Leos, let's see what we got, girls. Let's see what we're dealing with here. 
for our Leos. What does Spirit have to say? Hmm. Ooh, Leos. Okay. Okay. So we may be a little bit stuck in something. Um, we got the hanged man for your situation. And we also got the four cups. So we're, we're really kind of trying to make a decision. We don't exactly know what's going on. But we also got the king of cups and the cleanse and the toxify for advice. So I'm definitely seeing, Leo's, that there's something that's been going on that's kind of got you at a little bit of a stalemate at the end of the year coming at. You don't exactly know what choices to make, where to go. You're a little bit stuck. But it's relating to your emotions. And so it's asking, Spirit is asking you to cleanse and detoxify. Cleanse the past, remove everything from the past so that you can move forward in the future. In regards to any final challenges, in your career, there's going to be something happening, complete change in direction. Yeah, my Leo. So don't worry so much about everything because there's going to be a complete change in direction. Lastly, in love, there might have been some kind of quarrels, fighting, and love, relationships. Um, and so guidance, the last bit of guidance for my Leos is focus on service. Focus on how you can give back and how you can give love. So maybe the quarrels have been, you've been focusing too much on where the love's coming to you. And so maybe it's time for you to figure out how you can give back and love. And that would be your advice. I'm going to pull one more. There it is. Release and surrender, Leo. So this is the same thing. You've got cleanse, detoxify, release. It's time to just let go and let God. Yeah, to put Jesus, he's trying to take the wheel. So just let, pry the fingers off. Let him do what he has to do to finish out the year. I'm going to be doing also a mid-month December reading to really finalize on what's going on, Leo. So really um, catch, check back in with me. I also do daily tarot on my Instagram page and my Snapchat and my Tumblr page now. And so we're going to figure out kind of what's going on, what needs to be released and everything throughout the month. Much love, Leos. I will catch back with you later. For the Virgos, for the Virgos. Okay. So, for the Virgos, Virgo rising here. This is also for um, just Virgo energy. You have lots of planets in Virgo or in your birth chart. Virgo moon, Virgo rising, where you are Virgo. This reading is for you. So let's see what Spirit has to say. For our Virgos for the end of the year. Okay. Hmm. Where are Virgos? Okay. Good news at the end. But in the beginning, um, either a child you're dealing with, your inner child, or you got the child card. So some someone, your inner self, um, you're gonna need to to, to just yeah, I'm hearing it yourself. Focus more on your inner child This the, by the end of the year um, to, to conclude, starting in 2017. Because it's going to allow you to unleash any past energies, past bad things that do not serve you. Right now, I'm seeing that you might be chained to this devil. Yeah, chained to the things that do not serve you, that have you've been dragging on for the past nine years. It's time to let go of those, yeah? Because you also got... It's causing you to not really be able to celebrate home or love home or love anything... Um, partnership, relationship with others, because you're, you're just attached to something else, yeah, um, with that child. But you got the perfect timing card. So things are going to be working out. Just keep faith. You got the perfect timing card, and your wishes will be fulfilled, which is amazing. Um, you have a very, very beautiful reading. Lastly, in your love for, love for the end of the year, we're moving away from hard times. Yeah, we're pushing away. We're moving away from hard times. And there is steady progress. So that's beautiful, Virgo. Last advice I'm getting. There may be a wedding or something happening at the end of the year um, or some reunion or rematching, but we know the perfect timing will be happening. So let's not focus too much on it um, because everything will be happening in its own divine timing by the end of the year. We need to be focused on how we're going to release these dark attachment attachments we do have left. Yeah, Virgo? So that's what I have for you. I will be doing mid-months. For Virgos, all signs as well. I'm in December, so catch, but catch up with me. Keep up with me. 
Much less. Libras, you got my song. Finishing up your shuffle. Oh, okay, Libras. Let's see what Spirit has for our Libras. What do we got to say for the end of the year for Libras? What advice do we have? Oh. Hmm. All right, Libra. Okay. So, in regards to your life purpose for the end of the year, what I'm seeing is you got to make it happen. Yeah, we've got the tools. Yeah, notice the magician has every element. He has the pinnacles for earth, the cups for air, he has the wands for fire, and the swords for, for air. I'm sorry, I said cups for, cups for water, pinnacles for earth, wands for fire, and swords for air. Yeah, so he has all what he needs to be the alchemist and create what he wants for his future. But what I'm seeing, Libras, is that we don't know what we want. We don't have much long-term term folks, which is the exact same reading we kind of got for the general, which is causing us to not have as much fiery energy and passion and, and, and motivation forward, yeah? And so we're asked to follow our life purpose and try to figure out what that is, yeah? And so for our advice, it says, the purpose of your life is to serve in a way that brings great joy to yourself and others. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Instead, focus upon serving a purpose and that then your purpose will serve you. So we need to figure out how we can give back. Libra, y'all are all about balance and love and sharing. And so we want to know how you can better serve. Yeah, that's going to be able to, maybe that's what's going to help you with your planning. Maybe you're thinking too much about what, how, what is my purpose? But maybe, you know, you, ha you have what it takes. It's just going to be following, following um, just the love of your heart and your desires for the next bit of the year. Yeah. You also got the moon reverse. So it's once again, looking in, that's your challenge. Your challenge to look in, follow your intuition, and not be so confused with all the illusion and things that could be coming up for you. You got the giving and receiving card once again for your life purpose, yeah? We may not be giving, yeah? We're thinking so much about receiving, but it's time to figure out how you can give back, yeah? Lastly, for our love, justice will be served. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm hearing. That's what we serve. You just need to release and surrender everything. Yeah. The past is, I mean, the past. 2016 is almost up. Yeah. 2017, you want to start with a nice new beginning to release and surrender. That is, let me see, put one more for Libra. Oh. And listen. Listen in, inward, I'm hearing. Inward, inward, inward. So really listen inward to just see what you want to do and what you want you can give back starting for 2017. Thanks so much. Scorpio, what's up, Scorpio? It is time to get the reading for Scorpio. This is also for Scorpio energy, so if it could be. Um, lots of planets in your, in your birth chart in Scorpio or um, Scorpio rising, Scorpio moon. Um, this is for you. Yeah, so let's just shuffle out here two more times. Let's kind of see what our energy is for the end of the year for our Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. So as I'm flipping, we're going to be needing to figure out our heart chakra, yeah. That's what's keeping us a little bit stuck right now, yeah. With our emotions, yeah. Um, you're asked also to ground yourself. Grounding yourself, yeah. It says, when you detach from awareness of your body in the physical world, you become ungrounded. Although it's pleasant to float heavenward, your attention and work are needed upon the earth. We're helping you balance the spiritual material so that you can enjoy a fulfilling earthly life. Work. So, we may be feeling a little bit ungrounded, Scorpios, and that's what's leading us to this Ace of Pentacles reverse, which is what we got for the future card in the general reading. So, it's saying, same thing, there's lack, there's, there's a little bit stuck, we're not able to move forward as much, because there's not long-term planning, and there's not, you're just kind of a little bit stuck. We got the hangman, yeah? But we're stuck, and there's a blockage in our hearts, so it's saying it's time to 
look for your heart chakra and, and work on and see where that is. For our love, since it is with the heart, in our love section, we got generosity and caring and giving back. So maybe some more money is coming your way, or maybe you're being asked to, how can you be generous and giving in some way? And let your past go, what you got for love. So let your past go. That's uh, getting it off. Maybe we're feeling a little greedy or a little bit like we can't give or can't uh, continue forward because we're, we're looking at the past. We're looking at what happened in the past. So I, don't, I don't have any money right now, so I won't be able to give. Or I don't, I don't, I'm not really feeling giving right now. Release that. Release all thoughts of the past. Yeah? One more advice card for Scorpio. Follow your inner child, Scorpio. That's kind of what I'm getting. Yeah, just really, it's in your heart. You're, you're, we're a little bit stuck in the past in our heart chakra, which is keeping us... In the stalemate right now. And so we're being asked to listen to our inner child, yeah? That inner love in our heart, yeah? So that's for my Scorpios. Much love to you guys. Talk to you later. All right. For my Sagittarians, it's Sagittarius season. Okay. The sun is really giving it to me, okay? It's like been bothering me. It's been moving from here all the way over slowly, and it keeps getting in the frame. So I'm just going to sit my massive head in front of it to give us the good lighting we need, yeah? So for Sag, let's see what we got going on for the end of the year. A little more direct reading for our Sagittarians. Let's see what we're going to get. First card out the deck is have confidence, so we'll see what that talks about. You know, what are we gonna have confidence in? Hmm. We gotta have some new partnerships coming by the end of the year. Yeah, new partnerships, and we're gonna be asked to come with it with strong force and confidence. Yeah, have confidence, that's serious. Sometimes you can kind of be a little bit self defeating. You're worried you can be a little bit too hard on yourself. Yeah, have confidence. And lastly, the advice, in your family situations, we're going to be needing you to be the high priestess, using your intuition to kind of figure out what's really going on, if you have been having any issues in your family situation, yeah? If you need to have any discussions or anything, have confidence with that as well, because that's going to be um, a challenge for you. And lastly, in love, you may feel like you've been stuck out in the, in the cold a little bit in love recently. Um, like, no one's there for you. You don't have any help. But for love advice, you got a change in direction is coming. So that's beautiful. Um, this card says, the changes you're expecting are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. You are protected now and in the future. So follow your path to the happy outcomes you desire. Beautiful card to end our Sagittarius reading. But since this is your birth month and, you know, everybody's turning up in Sagittarius right now, and currently, as Sagittarius, I want to give two more guidance cards. There's nothing to worry about, so focus on your service. So once again, guys, it is having that confidence to really focus on how you can serve and better just help everyone and with love and sharing and everything. And it's saying not to worry about anything, yeah? So much love, Sagittarius. Don't worry. Your birthdays are going to be amazing. And I love you. See you later. Capricorn. I posted that terrible in turn. Oh, my soul shot ball. One more. Clear the energy. Okay. For my Capricorns, this this end of the year, let's see what we got going on, Cass. Let's see what spirit has for us. Okay. Wow. We're going to ask Capricorns, follow your intuition this time. Follow your intuition. You can be a little practical, a little followed by the rules, what I need to do. Follow your heart, yeah? And with driving force, Yeah. Because you got the perfect timing card, guys. Yeah, it's all going to be happening in divine timing. Beautiful. You may be stuck. Once again, we, we got this card before with the Seven of Cups and our outcome for the general. 
we're a little bit stuck in decision making. We don't exactly know what we need to be doing with all of our, with this this um, chariot energy, yeah? So that's why our advice is follow your heart because the timing will be perfect. For love for my Capricorns, you're asking to be the entrepreneur and follow the new beliefs that you are setting, setting, yeah? We all, this past few months, I have been seeing that we have been figuring out our beliefs and which ones serve us now, which ones used to serve us and don't serve us anymore. And so we're being asked to kind of be the judge right now. Yeah, be the hair fan. Figure out what beliefs are going to fit for you moving on to 2017 that you want to carry. And move forward with them in a business way. You're the entrepreneur of your life and your love. Yeah. Lastly, for Capricorns, I got the ocean. Yeah. So you're asked to kind of just stay by the ocean and 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 just release because you never know. Blessings are in disguise. Yeah, we really don't realize how much nature can do for us, but blessings are in disguise. Yeah. Try to figure out what you desire. That's really what's going to be happening. Yeah. Figure out what you desire so that you can push forward with that energy. Because the timing is right, Capricorns. Yeah, the timing is right. Beautiful reading. I will be doing a mid-month for Capricorns and all signs just to kind of check in to see what's going on. So hit me up on all my social media. Much love. Aquarius. What's up, my loves? Coming for a fellow Aquarius. I love you all. I always shout Aquarius out because we're awesome. Um, let's see what we got for the end of the year. Yeah, what are the Aquarius going to be going through? This is interesting to see as you. All right, Aquarius. There's going to be a change in direction for us coming, yeah? That's amazing. Let's see in what. Hmm. So we, we have been... Working so hard. Yeah, we've been working really hard, trying to figure out what's going on. But there hasn't been a lot of progress. Yeah, we've been a little bit stuck. It's a swift action card, fast movement. Not really happening right now for us, yeah. But there will be a change in direction, which is amazing. We are also asked just to have more confidence, yeah. Because we're an air sign, we're the swords in tarot. And we got the ace of wands reverse, yeah. So we haven't been thinking too clearly. We haven't been really figuring out what exactly we want. But we're asked to have confidence and move forward because we may be stuck, but a change is coming. A change is coming, my friends. And for love, we got harmony, celebration, and family. And what with, with advice, family card again. So two cards of celebration and family for love. So love is going to be coming to our families and our hearts. And it's going to be, we're going to be reunited with family maybe. That's what I'm hearing. And there's going to be celebration around family and love by the end of the year. Yeah. I feel like Aquarius, we've had a lot of issues with love this past nine years. It's been a big challenge for us. And so family, this is what we got. Much love, my friends. I'll be doing a mid-month December reading for you guys. Hit me up. It's also for Aquarius energy. Aquarius rising. I'm also Aquarius moon. Much love. I see. I feel like y'all need this flow, Pisces. Yeah, you want something a little more shit. Cards falling. So much energy in the cards. I have to shuffle a couple more times in here. There we go. That feels about well right. So. My Pisces, let's see what the cards have to say for you guys. All right, my Pisces. Ooh. So there must have been something happening recently. Some kind of death or ending happening, um, which is... 
perfect with the, with the way the numerology is working. 2017 is coming. It's a one month. I mean, one month. Seen that. One year. So completely new beginnings are coming. Death to all that does not serve has been happening all year. But that death, saying that's been happening and I'm doing a reading, is causing confusion, especially for my Pisces. Yeah, y'all are stuck in the clouds again, Pisces. This is like your card, yeah? You're a little bit stuck in the clouds. Maybe you have rose-colored glasses. You're trying to, you, you believe a situation is working for you. But it's, it might not be. I'm seeing, it's, it's causing a lot of distress. It's been causing a lot of stress for you guys. Um, let the situation die is kind of what I'm hearing. Let it die because what is not for you will be cut out by the end of this year, yeah? And so don't keep fighting it. Don't let this death, um, it's ordained, yeah? This death's happening whether we want it or not. It's going to continue to happen. And so there's no need to be confused about what's going on, yeah? Or stressed out. You also got the Shower of Abundance card. So it says, to heal your financial situation, first give us your worries concerning money. We will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance. As we work together, your financial situation will heal as fast as you allow. So maybe, my Pisces, maybe there's something with money. Something's ending. Maybe we're, you know, and we want to figure out, we're a little bit stuck and confused and worried. Like, oh my God, what am I going to do, yeah? But we got the lover's card reverse and reward yourself, yeah? And so I feel like there hasn't been a lot of loving, yeah? You, you haven't been loving yourself, yeah? Of all these, these, this is the lover's card. It does show, you know, partnerships, new love, new commitments, um, soulmate connections. But it's also about the main importance of love, which is self-love. Yeah, and so you want to make sure we're rewarding ourselves by the end of the year. In love, in general, you got the magician card. Yeah, which is pure manifestation, alchemy. You can create what you want with love for the new year. Yeah, you can create what you want. You be a little bit worried, but let the things die. Let them die. Because you need to see only love, yeah? The things you're seeing before, you're seeing everything with it, but you need to see only love for the end of the year. It's saying, look past the seeming errors, mistakes, and misunderstandings, and see only the love within each person, including yourself. Your resolute focus upon the love that underlies every situation brings about healing in undreamed of ways. So, healing is on the way. But we're just not, we're a little bit confused. We're a little bit stuck in the past. And it's saying to just see only the love in the past, yeah? See only the love, and that will allow us to move forward to receive the shower of abundance, yeah? And maybe the shower, honestly, is for yourself. Because so we're trying to reward ourselves, our Pisces, yeah? One last card for Pisces I'm hearing. It'll help with your life purpose, yeah? It's our life purpose. That's why we're so stuck. Things are dying. Things we thought were for our purpose aren't happening anymore. But we have the power to create a new. We have the, the power, the magician, to create a new for our life purpose. So that's what I have for you, Pisces. Much love and catch up with me for our mid-months that are going to be coming for December. Thank you, guys.